Hello, Gary Westby here with KL Wine Merchants, here today to talk about another champagne, a really interesting one that we have in a uh, great bargain, really, from Dumanil. Um, this is a special club bottling, and many of you are familiar with the special club program. Um, all of this, this association of growers that are part of the special club agree to put their top cuvee in this same bottle, um, the same squat bottle, bearing the um, embossment, the crest of the special club right up here. Um, and I think in grower champagne, there are a few better guarantees for quality um, than the special club. It's um, members all submit their Van Clairs, and the Van Clairs must pass a jury of peers in order to be um, bottled as special club. And the level is really, really high. Um, the only issue with it is, is that you don't really know the style unless, um, you know, you can make a guess by the village or, or by knowing the producer already. So um, definitely a, a huge, huge thing for, um, for knowing um, quality, at least, um, when it comes to, to, to grower champagne. Anything that's bottled as special club is going to be top notch. Um, Dumanil is located um, on the north facing slope of the Montant de Rems, and this particular wine is from Chigny La Rose, um, Sassi, and really La Montagne. I can show you here on my handy map um, of the Champagne region, region. You have the city of Rems up here, and just under the N in Montant. Um, you have Chigny La Rose and, and those other villages. Um, this is their neighbors there with um, Cartier, um, who makes the Armand de Brignac. Um, they're also, also neighbors with La Salle. Um, this bottling here is all Premier Cru, and it's 60% of Pinot Noir and 40% of Chardonnay and comes from the cooler, later 2013 vintage. Um, anecdote about 2013, I'll never forget. Um, all of the producers came to our October tent event and they were all absolutely gassed because it was an October harvest and they just barely got stuff in into tank um, in time to fly out and come to California. Um, so, so very, very late, especially given all of the early harvests that we've been having in, in Champagne and, and, and perhaps that longer hang time is um, going to do something for these wines in, in the long run. Um, I'm, I'm pretty behind 13 and 14 cooler, cooler vintages that we've had, um, especially since the pipeline's so um, jammed full of very, very ripe vintages um, coming in the future. Well, let's, let's try this guy out. Well, it's 60% Pinot, but um, look at that color. I mean, that's that's super, super clear. Um, so obviously they've been very, very, um, very, very delicate and, and quick with pressing that Pinot Noir. Wow, that is a really, really nice nose. I would call that classic Pinot de Vin, you know, real sourdough, freshly baked sourdough. Lots of great yeastiness there but also underneath some very nice red cherry aromas um, from the high quality of that Premier Cru Pinot Noir. <clears throat> yeah, in the mouth, I'm getting that classic nuttiness from the north face of the Montant de Rems. Um, a subtle component though, along with really, really good cherry Pinot Noir fruit, um, very dry, refreshing finish. Um, we're going to try this out tonight and we're going to, we're going to pair it with some fish and, um, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to blog about it later and let you know how, um, how it shows. But currently this is on the shelf for $49.99. Um, it's definitely the least expensive special club that we've had in the store in years. And, 
just a really, really great, great bargain um, at this price. It should last for a very, very long time in your cellar. Um, if you like it, it'll, it'll age well if you decide to take a position on it. Anyways, a toast to you. See you next time.